Hello, welcome back. If you are following my video sequentially, then you must be realizing that we are discussing about test execution phases and we have already discussed about this one, this one and this one. Alright, and in this video, so our goal is to understand baseline and test archive. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some key checkpoints that when you are doing the baselines or those are the key you can take that best practices or common mistakes that people do and I'm just telling from my experience maybe a lot of you know there may, may, there may be a lot of things to add which I'm, I'm not sure but I'm just going to going to give you some 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 of my thoughts okay so so why do we create baseline the reason that you create a baseline that the idea here is to run same test and collect data with an intention to compare effectiveness of subsequent runs. So that means, let's say I give my run 1 today or with, with Apache version 1.1. Okay, and tomorrow, let's say Apache comes with version say 2.1. I want to give run 2 and I need to compare run 1 and run 2 to see if there is any regression happened or not. And in this case, run 1 is your baseline run and run to is your new test run then we'll compare and then we can report that okay this kind of regression is happening in case of in case of apache 2.1 or or apache 2.1 may be performing better than apache 1.1 all so that we have our web server and then we have our database server okay it's a very simple configuration and and running this baseline we make sure that whatever software version that we are using and whatever database version we are using here has let's say x as their the response time and whenever we move let's say from 11 to 02 let's say we move to 12.1 so in that case let's say the response time is y then we compare is this y greater than x or if is y greater than x that means the response time degrades on the newer database version ensure that the baseline result so whatever the results that we are getting run one that should be rep repeatable on under what kind of configurations you have run run one so need to document those things so that at later point of time we can repeat the test okay so basically this baseline is is is, is used to track product regression or optimization over time right and then the archiving test for archiving test the key points is that like you know since for the baseline we need to like for example I created this baseline let's say on 0 01 January 2013 okay so I need to ensure that under what circumstances I have run the test what are my test script what are my configuration parameter of, of the database servers and so on so essentially what I'm going to do I'm going to put this test script configuration parameter and all other dependent things to a version control system okay to a version control source code control system so that at any point of time later let's say I want to go on January January 01 January 2014 then what I'm going to do I'm going to get those you know those 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 test script and configuration files and readme documentation and so on and I can rerun test so that I can I can I can I can I can repeat the baseline result okay so that is why we have to archive everything every piece of the software script configuration parameter the results and even like you know what are the softwares that is here so all those things we we archive and put it on a source code control system okay and the reason we are, do, we are doing that so that we can compare regression percentage from one version to another version so generally a product life cycle is about a product will, will be there for you know to, under development maybe maybe a life cycle of say one year or six months so in that case I like to know I like to I like to figure out what are the regression what are the what are the performance in performance impact is, is, is coming because of the change of code all right so with this essentially we finished our test execution process to summarize that test execution process is something like a five step process we, we discussed all those five processes and also we discussed various tips and tricks that can help you in the real life thank you for